You know, uh, starting Warriors Garden Center was, was, when we started, Prescott was about half or less the population of what it is now. It was around 12,000 people all together in the area. Prescott Valley was not there. Chino was there. But Prescott Valley was not there, and it was just a stable little community, and we just, when we discovered it, we just thought, we've got to move to Prescott someday, and we came up here, started landscaping, and then uh, the nursery that was supplying, the florist nursery, said, I'm going to sell out. He said, you better start your own place. So we did start Waters Garden Center over there. We've done a lot of things to help pay the rent <laughs> since that time. Uh, one of the things that we've done is we had a pet shop in one end of the nursery, and we sold goldfish and fish and tropical fish. And we, my wife actually had a dog grooming business in part of it, and she was, you know, that was helping it helped pay the rent. And I had four children, and that helped me to get us through the winter, <laughs> the slow times. Garden centers, nurseries are great in the summer, spring, summer, and fall. But when it comes to winter, it's a loser, you know. So we had to figure a way to get through. And the pet shop helped, and we had a lot of fun learning it. And it was just a good experience. Well, I said I had four daughters, and had to keep them cared for, keep them clothed and fed. And Lisa, the young lady you know here at the Garden Center, is my youngest daughter. And I never expected that I would have one of my daughters running a, helping run a garden center in the garden center business. It's not a normal thing that girls go into nursery business because I don't know why, but anymore it's not so uncommon. But Lisa and Ken came over here 20, 30 years ago, well, 30, 40 years ago, something like that, and came in and learned the details of the business and kept it going and we turned it over to them quite a while ago then too. We've had a lot of fun and we've enjoyed it. It, it hasn't always been real easy when it came to paying the bills, but we had a lot of fun most of the time doing it. I was thinking, as I came in and walked around and looked at the plants in the greenhouse and out here, I, uh, I really, I enjoy coming by the garden center again. It's still something that's in my blood, and I enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy gardening as much as I have. One of these days, maybe I ought to write a rake, how to write a book, how to garden forever. Ken thinks that I came here, and it isn't going to cost him anything. You know, just because I'm family. Either. Well, see this color bowl here? That's what it's going to cost you. <laughs> no problem. That's great. <laughs> well, thank you for coming today. I always enjoy many of you, and I won't say many, but a number of you, right, this group here this morning, they already know. Your friends and your customers, and we've enjoyed having a relation business and a friendship relationship with you. And uh, I hope you like Prescott as well as we have. When I got ready to retire, we looked around, we traveled, we had a, a trailer, we bopped around, particularly through the West, because that's where I want to retire. And we came back finally and said, Prescott City. You all know that, that kind of thing. So welcome to Prescott and welcome to Waters Garden Center and welcome to our talk this morning.